And then Green City up in here. Uh, any of these exits? That way. Bozeman. Big Sky. Belgrade. West Yellowstone. All these are really cool things on this sign right here. On a terrible National Forest Road. Well, we stayed at a parking lot along a creek here in some National Forest land, uh, a little ways outside of Bozeman. We had trouble at 1 a.m. and later trying to find um, land that we could camp on that was within a reasonable driving distance of Bozeman. So, uh, and a lot of it, you know, was just kind of not reachable in a minivan. Um, so. We could have found it maybe, but uh, it was just really rough. So what we're doing this morning is heading into Bozeman. We got a few tasks to take care of, a few things to buy, breakfast to eat, and we're gonna go maybe hang out in the Sitka headquarters later on and do a podcast and uh, maybe do some fishing this afternoon. So big day, it's exciting, and I need some visine. Get right. Mm, enormous burrito. The two for four sounds pretty good. Oh, look at that thing! That is a tricky, Show me that. That's a tricky triangulate trio triumvirate. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> well, we got a window mount so that we can uh, do some videography stuff and some scoping from the road. So we went to. Wild Sheep Foundation headquarters and saw our good buddy Garrett Long. That was cool. Continue cool to catch on up. South 19th Avenue for four miles. <laughs> <laughs> good deal. And uh, we got to catch up with him, so that was cool. Uh, then we went and ate lunch and headed over to Sitka headquarters and uh, did a podcast over there. So uh, that was cool. It's neat to see the headquarters and see some of the secret stuff they're working on. And uh, now we're heading to try to find some fish. And we're thinking kind of smaller creek cutthroat type of stuff right now uh, to kind of finish out the evening here. We're not sure what's gonna happen from about an hour from now on, uh, but hopefully we'll catch some fish within the time period to make our decision easier. trying to find some grayling at this reservoir and we're looking around for places to fish and Tyler goes there's a deer and we look thinking mule deer and see a white flag lo and behold it's like a Hope and Young class 8 point we're at like 6800 feet of elevation <laughs> It's gotta be a cut bow, man, doesn't it? Yeah. I think we're about to get blown off the river. Hello, everyone. Montana State Lands, baby. Baby, it's public up in here. Up in here. If you can see, we are at a rest stop. What up, everybody? State Lands, State Lands proud. <laughs> You said you walk long <laughs> So the fishing yesterday was a touch on the slow side. We, or I ended up catching two trout. We didn't have a ton of time to fish, so we went to a place close to town. Uh, really pretty place. Water was cold as water gets. It was terrible. My feet froze. 
So we uh, kind of packed it up a little bit early and then went and ate supper with some good friends of ours and uh, had a good time last night. There's some mule deer up there. Oh, yeah. Sure. Um, and uh, Buck. Is it a buck? Yeah. One in the back. Not a bad little dude. That's cool. Um, and then uh, we slept at a rest stop last night and we are headed to the Madison River today. What is that dark thing right there? It's a white tail. It is a white tail. Looks like a little buck. Baby buck. Oh, there's a better buck right there behind oh, yeah. it. Oh, there's more. Oh. I can't tell what their bucks are. Oh. The sportsman's paradise. We're going to go up to this braided section and slay some fish on hoppers. Let's go. Wild mint. I was standing around here filming and I smelled it. I said, smell something really good and look down. Smell that? It's awesome. Got a little mint water now. <laughs> Good looking fish. It's cool. And oh snap. Oh yes. <laughs> Woo! Dude, these rainbows are awesome. Strong. Oh my goodness. Oh there he goes. <laughs> That gummit. Can't catch them all. That would have been a lot more serious of a there he goes if that was like a 16 inch. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. Come on, that's it right there. Oh! <laughs> that was cool. Oh. I guess they just got more room to run than on small streams, you know? Just little, little stout, strong fish. Oh, <laughs> smoked it, no. That was a fish, I'm pretty sure I saw him. Oh, oh he's baby. Oh, that was a fish. Oh, that was a fish. Yeah, he's, he's moved twice. sucked it under there. Did you miss that fish? That was the biggest fish I've seen. Oh. 
I got it. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, that was hmm. a real refusal right there. Little pretty baby. Oh, that guy, he Man. me that time for sure. Ooh. Hey there, guy. Ooh, dang, he went on a run there. He does not like you. Oh my goodness, come on. The browns will do that right there. A solid fish. He's not real long, but he's thick. He's pulling really hard right now. Up a little bit. Cool. My goodness, what is he doing? Oh, that guy looked at it forever. Nice. Is that good? Alright. Mm. Oh, baby. That was a good take. What a bad fish either. I'm surprised he missed it. That was a dink. Oh, big fish. Oh, my gosh. Holy smokes. coming. Dang, Dang it. Ah, it. Oh, man. That stinks. I saw it coming too, but I didn't know what to do. Yeah, I don't think you could have done anything. I guess I could have let him go, but. I yeah, that's, I mean, that's probably what I'd have done, but I mean, other than that, he could have got in any of that junk well, down there. Dang it, I didn't want him to get in that log up there. That's where he's headed. to move 
we weren't catching very big fish and that's kind of what we wanted to do today since we were on the Madison River and we're in Montana. So we decided to come over here to the uh, Lee Metcalf Wilderness area and uh, we had a suggestion to come back in here and it looks huge. Uh, there's lots of hoppers going on right now but I'm not sure like how we're going to get to much water than right beside the bank and it's pretty slow moving so not sure if we're going to get the hopper action that we wanted but we may still end up with some big fish we'll see and then we may do some uh deer driving tonight scouting some blm and that kind of stuff public stuff so hope for the best Good to go. deserved but well earned after today you know there it is freaking stout <laughs> it's pretty cool Public, whether that be BLM, state, whatever, um, next to some of this ag, also along a river corridor here, and uh, we're just really excited to. Well, who knows if we'll ever even hunt this stuff, but we're like really excited to see deer for one, and have the like potential to hunt deer on public. And we just saw a multi-time two or three-year-old that like is a shooter for us on a trip if we were to come up here. So pretty exciting. There's some deer right there actually. There's somebody coming behind us. That's a buck. I don't. I don't see any deer. We are gonna try to catch some fish before noon we gotta have a van back at the plate the rental place by noon so we're gonna go look at some deer and then we're gonna go fish 
and then we're going to load all of our tornado disaster that is the inside of this vehicle into our bags and then return the vehicle. That's the plan. So I've been slightly freaking out because I had the keys and I was like, what if he got like a mile away and it kills out because it's not with the keys. Like I, th I thought for like, I was like five minutes from sitting here from like start walking that way. Oh man, it's good though. All right. What just happened? <laughs> My shoes flew off the top of the roof because you and I left them up there to dry last night. And I guess mine aren't as uh, wind um, proof as yours are because mine flew off and yours stayed up there. And I had jumped out and just made friends with the guy living underneath the train trestle over there while you drove around to come back and get me. Apparently the exit's How a long way. I, have to go? I don't know, a long way. Did you really? <laughs> Real. I had to go to the airport. All the way to the airport just to get turned around. It was like five miles probably. So that was dumb. Ubered over here to downtown Bozeman because we had to drop off our rental car and now we're trying to find something to eat. It's a pretty cool downtown area, that's for sure. Yep, and it's pretty crowded too, but we're gonna find something good. I'm walking over to the Rialto, not Rialta, the Rialto here in Bozeman. It is time for us to meet our cohorts. TRCP Media Summit 2018. This is the kickoff deal, so I'm excited. Uh, should be some good speakers tonight. And KC looks like the Lord me. <laughs> so there was much debate amongst our uh, room between Tyler and I of what time to show up to this thing. and. If we should be fashionably late or just stylishly early, and we are stylishly early, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> uh, we're gonna chill and probably listen to some pretty cool speakers tonight at this event. You know, first night's usually a big kickoff or whatever, so it should be a good time. Topped up. Just mad at uh, Deer Farms. And me and Hal Herring are about to just go off on our own. <laughs>
you go. I'm gonna hand you him. I didn't want to go down this side channel. Um, well, I missed a big fish earlier, and kind of cold this morning. So we're changing up flies, seeing what they're gonna like, and uh, hopefully we'll get it ironed out. Tell what color he is? Uh, switch up a whitey? No. No, he's not switching. Oh! Nice fish. Woohoo! Baby! It's a brown in it. It might be a big cutty. No, it's a brown. Nice brown, dude. Golly. Teach, is that your biggest trout ever? Oh, absolutely. Come on, man. There he goes, nose up. <laughs> Very nice. Dude, nice. Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen them on that big in the net for a while. They usually break off. <laughs> there you go. A great fish. Is it a cut bow? Probably. He's got some bigger spots on it. Oh, dude! Woo. All right. <laughs> That's the way to finish the day. That's nice. Very cool. Yeah, he's a cut bow. Good way to finish strong. Thanks. 